Rocket Run is a Launch Connects roller coaster built with two Screaming Serpent sets and one Thunderbolt Strike set. I've modified six motors and two trains so that I can control the roller coaster using two Arduinos. Both Arduinos work together to control Rocket Run. They do this by communicating different ride parameters with each other. They are programmed to emulate the logic that controls a real roller coaster. Each Arduino cycles through its code to see the status of several read switches around the track so that they can determine how the ride is operating. The first Arduino is an Elegoo Arduino Mega 2650 that is responsible for knowing the location of each train on the track. The Arduino Mega is able to use this information to control its blocking system. Most modern roller coasters have a system set up where they split the track into several sections known as blocks. The ride control system is programmed so that only one train can be in one block at a time. Each train will progress from one block to the next and can only move into the next block if the upcoming one is cleared. If the next section is already occupied, then the ride will stop the train at the end of the block and wait for the next one to clear. Blocking is how roller coasters can safely operate several trains on one track without colliding. Rocket Run has four blocks and runs two trains. Carefully placed reed switches feel for magnets glued onto the bottom of the trains. When a train enters a new block, it triggers one of the reed switches that then tells the Arduino Mega that a train is in that block. If the next block is occupied, it will move the incoming train along the end of the current block using a chain in the track. When it reaches another reed switch at the end of the block, the Arduino will know it is in the proper parking spot. It will then turn off the chain motor, stopping the train. The Arduino Mega will take input from the operator using the control panel. To move a train out of the station and onto the launch track, the operator must press and hold the green dispatch buttons. When the ride is ready to launch, the operator can press and hold the two blue launch buttons to launch the train. The launch is automated using the second Arduino. This Arduino Uno is programmed to automatically wind up the launch and to launch the train when the Arduino Mega tells it to do so. Three modified Kinex motors are used to operate the launch. One winds up the launch, the second operates a sliding clutch, and the third launches the coaster. The program cycles through four stages to prepare the launch track and to launch the trains. First, the ride will reset itself from the last time it was used. It does this by pulling out the sliding clutch and lifting the launch ratchet. When it is reset, it will push the clutch in and lower the ratchet. Next, it will turn on the main motor and wind up. When it's wound up, it turns off the motor and pulls out the clutch. At this time, it will tell the Arduino Mega it's ready to launch. When the Arduino Mega tells it to launch, it pulls up the launch ratchet, launching the train. The Arduino Uno will repeat the entire cycle again automatically. The launch can be reset at any point in the cycle and put into standby mode by the operator. The launch is powered by a length of latex tubing underneath the launch track attached to a catch car. The main motor will pull the catch car back to the starting point using a nylon cord. This cord is attached to the winch at the start of the launch track. The train will latch onto the catch car with a tooth underneath the front car. When the operator presses the launch button, the ratchet will lift and the latex tubing will launch the trains down the track at 55 miles per hour. Rocket Run took 13 months to build. It provided a fun challenge as I learned how to program Arduinos and design circuitry to accompany it. If you'd like to learn more about how Rocket Run was built, how the Arduinos are programmed, and my future plans with this project, then please visit my blog with the link in the description.